What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does I break it? Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming, I am Aaron. And tonight in Eternal Evolution, we are going to have a fun little video on the new hero Dorali. Dorali is the new Terran Triple S summoning hero that just released to the game today. And I pulled just enough of her to get to, uh, what, Mythic 2 here. Because I want to do a little testing at Exclusive 10 and Exclusive 20. And, you know, as the talents go up and everything to see how she can do and what level you need her to really be effective in some of the events that are out there currently. So we got some, some guild stuff going on right now. We got Twilight Land. So I'm going to show her in a couple of different areas to see how she holds up. As you can see here, I have her in the extraction and the vigorous gear because HP plays into a lot of her kit here. If we get the detailed, uh, it's going to do damage based on their max HP, but once you get the talent up, it's also going to be based off Doragon's max HP, and Doragon is, of course, the summon. So you're going to want to pump max HP into Dorali, and uh, we're going to see what she can do, what kind of survivability she can add to the team at just EX10, and then we'll go ahead and look at EX20. So first things first, let's go ahead and jump into Summon Bond here and pull up our summoners but let's get leo out of here and uh let's put the rally up top you know what i want to see i want to know if we can get rid of a hunter here uh so let's just put maybe you know what maybe mooka no nah, i don't i want to get away from using mooka let's just try this and just see what happens Let's get the damage meters out of the way for now. We'll check that at the very end. So we have just Sorvali healing, and then we have the Raleigh in there also. And I think this is, what, Twilight Lands 11 or something like that? Decent little hit did almost nothing. Alright. Interesting. Let's check the charts here. All right, so what do we got? We got my head in the way, that's what we got. All right, uh, no, 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 don't do that. All right, so Dorali did 35.7 million damage, which is not too shabby, more than Ampu. Okay. Also did 12.9 million healing. Holy cow. 12.9 million healing. Sorvali did 1.5. Okay. Uh, summon bond again. Uh, let's see if... Dorali keeps him alive again. That's a wild amount of healing. I assume that's only going to her summons? I mean, she's not really healing the other units, I don't think. But she's only at Mythic 2 here. And is doing crazy well. The other thing to remember from her kit is the big summons counts as three summons. Uh, which is going to help in some of the other events. Let's check the numbers here, too. Again, she did 12.9 million healing and 29.8 million damage. The damage isn't blowing anybody away, even though it's still more than Ampu. But that is just a massive amount of healing. Alright. I should have swapped it out to see how much healing actually doing but okay what was that like twilight 11 12 that was in twilight 12 mythic 2 no problem surviving big hits no big deal all right let's go ahead not that get out of there uh let's throw in the guild hunt for the spider real quick Dorali is not a hero of the week yet um let's just throw in full summoners because we can because Dorali's going to pump up the damage of everybody else. Uh, Klaza, yeah, no, we're going to go with you probably. 
Let's just see. So the summon is already up. Now we're going to want our... There we go. Summon is already up. Controlling the damage. Senway is kind of getting punched in the face. But hopefully Sorvali can get him up no problem. Alright, so there we go. Now her damage is down to earth. But essentially she's kind of tanking, right? So the damage is significantly lower, even though everybody else here is, what, immortal 1 for Servali. Everybody else is 2 or higher for the rest, so not too surprising that they're doing way more damage. I do kind of want to see here how much damage buff is given. It seems like they're doing just fine. Again, she's not... She's not taking any damage. Granted, this particular guild boss doesn't pump out a ton, but... Still interesting. Alright. So no survivability there, even though we did pack her with max HP, so that helps. Uh, what was the other... Yeah, 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 yeah. Crimson Abyss. What do you got for Crimson Abyss? Do we want to go full summoner? That's kind of what I want to know. Let's let's find this out. Get out of there. Okay, there she's. Uh, let's see if she can tank. Uh, summon, 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 summon. Ooh, you know what else I wonder? I wonder if we have enough other summoners. Uh, let's throw Panda back in, because Panda's going to count as three also. I wonder if we can throw, like, a huge DPS in there. To really pump out some damage. Because we should still have enough summon units here. That we're not going to get blown backwards. The question is, can Sorvali keep everybody alive? Oh, big hit. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to work. Yeah, alright, dead. Alright, that didn't work. Question is, though, if we take out... What if we run this? Get, get in the back. There we go. Get in the back. Thank you. That's three summoners still. I don't know if that's going to give us enough. We might get that pushback, though. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough units. But this is kind of interesting to see what she can do. She didn't really have a problem staying alive now with both Sorvali and Masrani in the team. And Rebecca is pumping out the damage the way she's supposed to. The question is, do we have enough units for the wind attack? And can Dorali survive? Which, she's doing alright so far. 12 units, 13 units. Alright, so very minimal knockback. Big hit there. But Masrani gets her back up. So this is pretty intriguing. I mean, I don't know if it's going to work out, but the fact that we can add Rebecca in there for some massive damage is not too shabby so far. Okay, there's the big heal. Everybody's ads are coming back up. Again, very minimal knockback. Might actually get this down. Which would be a first. I mean, you saw I've never gotten 11 down before. This is really intriguing. There's a good chance she's a very, very solid and core member of this summoner team. Masrani, get everybody back up. Masrani's AI for the heals is terrible. Alright. 
up all the way down to 10 units, 12 units, there we go. Again, minimal knockback. Okay, Maserani, please do an intelligent heal. There we go, we got everybody that time, that's better. Go, go, go. Look at that. Wow. We went from not being able to clear this at all and just her capability at Mythic 2 was able to help us get diamonds because we were able to throw in Rebecca who was just smashing the damage. That is pretty cool. Okay. Can farm 11 now? That's pretty cool. I don't hate that at all. Uh, is there anything else we want to test her right now? The other place I do want to test her is uh, obviously in the Mirage space here, but that's going to have to wait since it's not open. But um, yeah, pretty interesting. All right, let's go ahead and take her up to where she can get to EX20 and see what that changes, what that adds. Uh, let's do, 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 here she is. Evolve. There we go, there we go, there we go. And she's got to get to Legendary 1. But obviously we're going to do that, so she's at Legendary 2. Okay. So what does that gain us? Where you at, girl? So now, we can go to Exclusive 20. Which... An Allied Summer Hero gains a shield... Equal to 25% of max HP. Maybe that's where all that healing stat is coming from. Because that is a ton. So they're going to gain a shield. Gaining energy if uh, HP below. Shield equal to 15% of max HP. That's nice too. Uh, Alright, let's pump the max HP also. So what is her max HP currently? 1.8 million, so they're getting, what, 25% of that? That is not too shabby. Um, Alright. And protecting against energy skills. Did I need to do anything else? I got, what, exclusive 20? And then she doesn't need gear, and then I put it in the talents. Alright. Let's see... Uh, what she can do now. Where was I that she... Oh, yeah. Let's check the damage real quick. See if her damage goes up at all. I might kind of hide Senway. Let's put her up front by herself. Damage definitely seems higher. Let's see how she does after Ampu's first AoE. Yeah, okay, then she's she's below Senway and Ampu now, but I mean, that's definitely a damage increase. Okay. Maybe not quite as helpful on the spider here, but definitely not too shabby on the uh, robot that's summoner specific. Alright. Yeah, she's doing alright. Let's back out of that. And uh, let's get back here into the Crimson Abyss. Dare we go for 12? Why not, right? Uh, let's get Company of Heroes out of there. I think this is just... Yeah. Let's distribute damage to the summons, because why not? And I don't think I still have an offensive one for summoners, which is very frustrating. Oh, We'll probably just give the speed one. Yep, still very frustrating. We'll give the speed one, so Rebecca does even more. Let's see if she can tank slash stay alive at the front for Crimson Abyss 12.
Let's see what kind of survivability this girl's got. I might just put Masrani on manual since his heal is just not intelligent. I guess this is also kind of an unintentional showcase on Rebecca too since she's got that buff because they didn't like the way that uh, her damage was looking. Heal everybody up. Massive hit from Irv Aleppi. Cool turtle, terrible name. Man, that, uh... Oh, the other thing I was going to try first was PvP, too. Let's see how she handles PvP. Good news is it doesn't look like you have to get her in light gap gear to get her, uh... Her giant tank summons out right away, so that's fun. Only ten there, that was, uh, pushback. I don't know if... I'm gonna have quite enough here. Still doing all right, though. This is a pretty interesting combo. Need a little bit more healing here. Oh, come on, Becca, get up. Okay. There she goes. She's back up at full health. Getting some good healing in now. Don't want to let any summons die because we're going to get... Oh, there we go. We got... Tw yeah, I think our only real limiting factor here is how many summons we have. I also wonder now if it's almost time to slop out Sorvali for Ampu or something. Just run with Masrani for the heals. Try to get out more damage. That might be the play. We also might be getting 12 out here. This is crazy progress for my account. And a lot of it is due to the fact that Rebecca hits so ridiculously hard. Don't get me wrong. But she, uh, Thorali is really adding some utility to the team here. And hanging in there with the damage. Look at that. I mean, we didn't get the diamonds, but we got Irvalepi down all the way up at 12. That is pretty outstanding. Look at that. We're already marching into uh, 13, 14, 15. And I'm just I'm just now trying to figure out what to do with her. So we might be able to get a little bit further. Uh, let's go ahead and take one real quick look at PvP and see what we can do here with a summoner team in 5v5. Let's just jump right into 4 million. Uh, summon... Get up there, girl. Um, do I still want Rez in there? Let's get Sorvali. Eh, I don't think I want that. Um, why not? Let's just see if Score and Hattie. Let's just make it rain for a minute. Let's see what happens. 3.7 million against 4 million. They have a Nord, they have a Leo. I'm kind of stunned that we're still alive. Maybe put Ampu and Rez in there instead of Skur and Hattie or something. Dorali has not taken damage, by the way. I'm not sure how much Sorvali is really doing either. Yeah, Nord's going to carry this, but we actually lived quite a bit longer than I expected. And she really did a good job tanking up front. Let's try, uh... I might try... <laughs> 3.7. Let's do... Let's get you out and you out. And let's just try Nord and, like, Rez. Maybe... Uh, what are my bonuses here? Front and middle. And front also gets an HP bonus. That's pretty sweet. Uh, do I three still have three summoners? No, I don't. But yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Three summoners. All right, that's cool. Let's see. Why not? 
Let's see what happens here. This is against uh, what some summoner with Leo and Nord lineup also, pretty much. She is really soaking up some damage. And I shouldn't say her. Her uh, her tank. Alright, I lost my res. But it's just essentially Nord on Nord at this point. Although I have Daniel and Maserani and Ampu and Dorali. Wow, got him. Okay, cool. That's a victory. Let's just knock out the rest real quick. Let's see how crazy we can get. Uh, 4.5... I don't know if I'm quite up to... Oh, this is a tank. Let's see if they can take out tanks. They took out summoners. Actually, that was kind of a hybrid. Vanguard, energy, summoner, a little bit of everything. Alright, so they got Panda, Omegon, Miranda, Nord. This is a very strong team I'm up against. Looks like Rez might be going down again. But... Man, Dorali... Really doing some good work up there, though. Yeah, look at that. Look at him go. Alright, their Nord's going. My Nord's going. Every Nord's slamming lightning all over the place. Let's get this out of the way. This battle is going all over. Oh, their Panda's down, but so is my Dorali. But Dorvali's up. The summon is up, but the hero is down. Both Nords are slamming around like wild men. I lost my res, but Ampu, Daniel... Well, uh, Womagon might carry this. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Yeah, bad timing. Alright. Didn't quite get that down. Uh, can we get a different team? That's the one we just beat, right? What is this 4.5? Uh, that's kind of the same thing I just played, I thought. What's this 3.7? Uh, I kind of already did that too. What are you? Oh, they have one too. Already up at 120. And they're going summoners with res. I don't know, let's see. Might get absolutely wrecked here, but... Really, the only difference in the teams is uh, Nord. And they have a Sorvali. And I, yeah, have a Nord and Res. Alright, so my Res is down. Unless Nord can carry the day here. Yeah, my Dorali's down. But they're doing good work with that full summoner lineup. Full summoner and Res. Alright, so that's a loss. Alright, this is just kind of interesting. I'm just wanting to see what she can do before we take her all the way up. Uh, 3.7. This is the one we already beat, right? Let's go ahead and just take that out and try uh, Sorvali real quick. Let's just see if this changes anything. They brought their Leo in, but Leo's already hit his cooldown, and I think he's about to die, maybe. Can't even see. Oh, yep, their Leo's down. This might be a little bit better than the res lineup. Well, Dorali took some damage there, finally. Right back up in the fight. Alright, this will probably be the last one I run, but... Pretty interesting stuff here. She can really, really soak up some damage up front, which is, you know, kind of the only thing... The summoners were really missing. Gave us a huge boost in the Crimson Abyss, and I bet it's going to be massive for Mirage Space also. So, there we go. Uh, that's probably where I'll call it tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of the testing... Um, again, I have her in, uh, let's look at the gear. For right now, I have her in the Extraction and the Vigorous. Getting some good heals out there. I wonder if it's also her summon receiving crit damage.
heals for max HP. I wonder if that's where those massive healing numbers are also coming from. I don't know. Very intriguing hero so far. Uh, seems to do some great work. So, so there we go. That's the initial testing. Thanks for sticking around, guys. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming content. And as always, have fun. Good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.